Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing an 18 plus reading first of all. So if you're not 18 plus, please click off this video and come back when you are 18 plus. So let's get started with today's video. So today we're gonna to be doing all about the intimacy between you and your future or current partner, depending on, you know, if that's a relationship you feel comfortable in right now. So we're gonna be looking into the intimacy and we're also gonna be looking into their personality and their name and letter of their name. So how it's gonna work is we have four piles here. Also, you can choose by crystals, which I will show you in just a moment. But if you don't wanna choose with crystals and you just wanna choose with groups, here they are. So if you wanna look at the name and the letter of the name, you can look at the next piles in the timestamps down below. So between pile one and four we have here is intimacy and personality. Between uh, number one and eight with the next groups afterwards will be the name and the letter. So have a look in the timestamps down below and in the comments section if you would like to know both and let's get started. So if you guys would like to choose with the crystals, here the crystals are now. So we have group number one, group two, group three, and group four. If you don't need, want to choose the crystals, we have the groups here as well. One, two, three, and four. So let's get started with your video, guys, and let's jump right on into it. Let's get started with your pick a card. So starting with group number one. Hello, group number one. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see the intimacy between you and your partner. So you chose the beautiful copper sphere. I love her. She is so grounding, so earthy, and so weighted as well. So if you guys are feeling anxious, this crystal is amazing for that sort of thing okay so let's get started group number one let's have a look at the intimacy between you and your future partner this can also be a current partner if you're in a happy relationship and you're very content this can be your current partner as well but it just depends so let's have a look at your relationship oh my god oh my god this is actually so interesting because this is a sort of energy i was picking up for this actual entire reading like all the piles it felt like either the devil or death it feels so intense like so scorpionic so capricornian like no basically no messing around like nothing is sugar-coated everything is just right there and then like it's literally nothing is sugar-coated so first of all for you guys before you get with this person before you meet them you will most likely go through a very intense death process you will go through a lot of releasing a lot of revealing and a lot of kind of excretion and coming out of your comfort zone and just feeling like like you're literally you're being stripped bare basically pun not intended like you're literally being stripped bare so what i'm feeling is this is so so connected to your sexual energy as well so as a sexual being you know as a human being we are all sexual beings whether we're male female feminine or masculine this is all about you owning your sexual energy this is about you owning your feminine power your really strong intimate energy so for this energy i am picking up on more of a feminine if you're not a feminine i'm just gonna say everyone has feminine and masculine energy so in this energy we're picking up on the feminine energy the feminine part of you that wants that care caring that nurturing that giving but that also that beautiful sensual side that is so freaking sexual so this energy it feels really really lovely i feel as if i'm just picking up on a no no bullshit attitude no fucking around nothing like that what i'm feeling is the person you're going to be with is somebody who really really respects you they respect your boundaries they respect everything you love and they respect your body and everything about you and it just feels so 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 beautiful and the fact that you chose copper copper is such a grounding energy it's like a basically it's a no bullshit crystal it's kind of like you're going to get grounded girl like when you touch the crystal you're going to get grounded so basically the energy here is like i am so ready for my next path so you guys this person you're going to be with this future partner is going to be so so validating for you intimately physically sexually just all the things um and they're really gonna show you what true love is it's unconditional it's beautiful and i also feel like i'm picking up on you guys um being around animals a lot so of course you know no sex aside basically sex aside in terms of other messages i'm picking up on animals around you so you may work with animals you may buy an animal with you and your partner but basically what i'm feeling is the people that you've been with before they really haven't given you the depth that you want and i feel like you're a very very deep person i think you're somebody who needs that depth and this is so weird but in my left leg i'm getting massive massive growing pains it's so weird um i haven't experienced that for so many years so if any of you guys have are experiencing growing pains right now 
could be emotionally, could be literal physically. Something in my left leg is saying like something is growing, something is changing. Could also be um, the left side is also in the masculine. So it could also be you're coming out of your comfort zone. You're learning to be more assertive. You're learning to really assert your sexual power as well. Like your sexual power isn't just sex. And that's why I love doing these 18 plus readings. Because for me, I always go into the, these 18 plus readings with a whole heart. It's not to do just with sex. It's to do with your power, your intimacy. It's just so, so, so beautiful. So let's have a look at the other cards and see what else wants to come through with the intimacy side. Okay, so the first thing I'm picking up on is a timer, like a sand timer. So I feel like some of you guys feel like you're running out of time, but also your person is actually quite close. Um, I do feel like the partner you're going to be with is very, very like adult. They're very mature and they don't make you feel like crap. Like you guys are ready to come out of your comfort zone. You really are. Like you're not meant to be with these people that make you feel really bad, really rough, just really uncomfortable. The person you're going to be with is so mature. Is this in the reverse? Um, I'm not too sure. Let's keep it upright for now. So the person you're going to be with really loves the top half. For those of you my females who have breasticles, and some people have said breasticles isn't the right word. I'm going to call them breasticles because I think it's cute. So um, breasticles, <laughs> your breasts, um, your person loves them. Your person loves your nipples. They love your skin. They love everything about the top half. That's kind of like their favorite part. So you're going to love anything to do with neck kissing and things like that. There's going to be this sense of like massive amount of security. Your person does feel like an uh, intense water sign or a fire sign. Uh, I actually meant to say earth sign. So let's just say water, earth and fire. A lot of thick sign energy from this group. Um, I feel like somebody told you that your boobs were too big or your boobs were too small. Or for those of you who, who um, my men I'm talking to, like your pectorials were too small, too big, whatever. There's something about the top half and you may have felt very insecure about it. And I'm hearing your person doesn't even care. Like they just love you for who you are basically. So we have the lovers. So the person, people that you've been with before have always kind of shared the energy around with other people. And it's always made you feel like you have to kind of chase after them or feel like you're not validated. And this person that you're going to be with is completely, it's not this at all. Like this energy is so open and wholehearted that people could throw themselves at your partner and they would not give a shit. Like they would not care. It's not about them. It's about you and this person. And they are just so fixated on you. And what I love about this energy is this person is not going anywhere. Like they are very, very dedicated to you and they love you for exactly who you are. It's so, 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 so beautiful. Okay, so I feel like your person and you are very arty. You might do like arty things. And I just saw, um, oh my God, that is so weird. This literally looks like a literal like ball sack <laughs> in a jar. <laughs> that looks so weird. Some of you guys might have like sexy candles, like literally candles in the shapes of like bodies. So I know you can get like female body shaped candles and like penis candles. So you might have those as well. For those of you, this might be the first relationship you've ever been in. So it might be somebody you lose your V card to. Um, or it could also be somebody who you just feel so, you're just so able to feel sexually free. Like I'm seeing a lot of your heart has been like this when you're with people and then it's kind of like, it opens up and it feels so amazing. Like I'm getting really hot in the face. I feel like it's quite embarrassing. Some, some of the things that you're possibly gonna go through because like you're not used to being so open with this person. You and this person are both just really openly sexual. Like there's no kind of taboo topics that you're not gonna talk about. Oh my God, there's literally a penis candle there. That, that makes so much sense. Okay, so in terms of the raw intimacy as well, I feel like this, you have always felt left out. This person's gonna make you feel so needed, so comforted. It feels so romantic, but also really sexual. I really like this energy because it feels like a really wholehearted relationship. It feels like both of you are so ready to like come into contact with each other. And for my um, straight people, you uh, females who like men, I'm getting like massive amounts of like penis energy. Like you guys love the penis, you like the D. And there's this thing about this masculine energy that you're really drawn to. I feel like for those of my straight females, you're really kind of connected to that gorgeous masculine energy that you've really been lacking. And I feel like you're really gonna get it from this person. This person has a beautiful penis too. It's like a really nice size, the sort of size that you like. Um, and also I feel like it really matches your body. It matches your hip size, it matches your body. And I feel like also the height range as well between you and this person is also really, really nice. Even if this person is exactly the same height as you, you match up so well. Like this person's a massive mirror image of you. But what I'm hearing is they're an enhanced mirror image. So this person is literally the masculine version of you, but because you've worked on yourself so much, the intimacy is gonna be so easy, so beautiful, so sexual. 
So I feel like your person, they feel like they have dark hair or light brown hair. They just feel so, um, they have this really easy energy about them. I'm hearing the song Easy by the Commodores, where it's like, easy like a Sunday morning. <laughs> that singing was not good, but that's basically what I'm feeling. So I'm literally hearing the word cat, but the other word for a cat. So because we have a cat down here, I feel like there's this really beautiful energy around oral, like both of you are really um, desired in all areas of the body. So you're basically, it is literal like penetrational sex, but it's also oral as well. Like both of you are really allowing each other to explore each other's bodies. And what I love about this is, as well is the relationship isn't just a honeymoon phase. Like so much of societal relationships are literally like, oh, the honeymoon phase. And then like six months to two years later, we're bored and then you break up. And this relationship, because you've done the work and this person has done the work both of you are recognizing that you want to be in it for the long haul like it's so meant to be and it's literally the sex gets better and better and better every time that you work on every deep level so don't be afraid to get deep with this person don't be afraid to literally get deep but also emotionally deep as well it feels so 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 nice I feel like this person isn't too far away from you. I feel like by either your birthday or your next birthday, around then this person could be around you. It feels like this person's really masculine, like you're gonna feel really safe with them. They feel really comfortable. They feel really um, energetically balanced. And it feels like this person is so muscly. Like for those of you who want a male, they are really, really muscly. For those of you who want a female, they are muscly, but they are more toned. They're not so much, you don't really see the muscles. They're just very strong. They might do yoga or something. As a male, they might still do yoga, but they are very, very, very muscly. And um, they're not like ribbed where they do those kind of like shows on the stage where like showing off their muscles, but they are very, very strong. Like they love being fit. They love being, they love throwing you around as well. Like if you're the smaller person in the relationship or the lighter person, they will throw you around literally. They'll throw you on the bed. They'll pin you up against the wall. They basically pin you on their shoulders. Things like that. It just feels so like, this person's very Aries as well. It's like they make a decision, boom, that's, that's it done. Like they're not gonna kind of change their mind. They just know exactly what they want. I'm hearing it's not always the right decision, but that's what's something that they're learning as well. Um, so I feel like this person, I just keep getting like big penis energy. Like they have a really beautiful, um, penis. They have a really beautiful, yeah, it's just, it's just so gorgeous. I, they keep, my guys keep wanting me to say penis. Like it's really funny. Um, basically you are not afraid to experiment. You're not afraid to do different things with this person. And what I'm hearing is just confidence and passion. Like you're so confident with this person. They are the right ones. They feel so good. And your chest area, like your, your heart chakra is gonna feel so full. Like you're gonna feel like you almost can't breathe because your heart chakra is opening so much. So for those of you, my empaths and my sensitives out there, if you really do have a very sensitive body, you will feel when this person's around you, like you'll know. So most likely if you do meet this person and they're very close to you, you'll get this feeling of your heart chakra and your heart palpitations. So if you get any heart palpitations, your person might actually be around you. So if you're out shopping, they might be around in the shopping center, but wherever they are, I'm hearing they are walking around right now waiting for you. So don't worry about missing this person. They will come in so naturally into your life and literally come naturally into your life. Like very naturally they will come. Um, and I'm picking up this person in the sex area. There's no like worries about expressing themselves. Like they are so able to be a fucking man, basically. <laughs> like literally no, like obviously not gender included, but literally they're so able to be a fucking person, they're able to be a fucking emotional person, like man or woman, they can be it. They can be a really fucking emotional female and a really fucking emotional male. Like they are so ready in their energy, in their masculine or feminine power, and they are just so fucking down to be your partner. Like they're not, they're somebody who doesn't sway. So I'm hearing you better be ready for this relationship because it's so fucking gorgeous. I am picking up something around the ankles and the wrists and the feet. So they might have a feet thing, but it's nothing kind of gross. Like if you're not somebody who's not really into that, it's not gonna be something that's kind of intense and like, oh, I need to have feet. <laughs> it's just kind of like they love just the body. They might have like Taurus or Libra Venus. Like they have a very kind of like um, open connection to the body. They might be like a photographer, <clears throat> a videographer, um, a life coach, something like they're always down to help people and their life purpose or their work is to do with helping people. I'm picking up on the number six, eight and two. So massive amounts of balance 
Uh, number six is all about health and fitness. This person is so fit as well. Like they're really, really fit. Um, their skin tone I'm also picking up is quite light, quite pale, but can be quite tanned. I'm not picking up on um, black skin or dark skin, but it doesn't mean they don't have it. That's just something that I'm just picking up like literally right now. Um, but of course, it literally can be such a spectrum. So please don't take it personally. Just take it as it resonates. Um, but I just feel as if the person, whoever the person is, you're going to be attracted to them. So skin color, hair color, doesn't matter. You will be attracted to them. So, you know, the person you have in mind is pretty much the person I think you're attracting. <clears throat> so we have April. I think in also as well, those of you who are wanting a dark skin person, they are still black. It's just, they might not be so tanned because they're in, inside a lot or they're in like a country where there's literally no sun, like England. In England, there's literally no sun at all. <laughs> so they might look a bit, bit pale, <laughs> a bit on the pale side. Okay, so we have the month of the year, we have is April. We have December. And we have, oh, this person might also tan, like they might also use self tan, or you might as well. There's something just about the skin tone. I keep picking up on the skin tones, guys, so please don't take it personally. Um, I just, if it comes in my intuition, it will just be there, okay? I just get whatever I'm told by my guides. So, April, December, and February, gorgeous times of the month, especially like December. <clears throat> December's like a massive family month because of Christmas, so I feel like in terms of this person, they're going to really respect you and your family. They're going to respect you and they're probably going to want a family with you as well, if that's something that you want. Okay, so please just take it as it resonates, as this is a general reading. Alrighty, I'm picking up some of you guys. This person may also be a doctor. They might be in the health profession or they might be something to do with like holistic health or something like that. Okie dokie. So let's have a look at their star sign and their personality. Let's see what's going on in that area. So I'm picking up on Pisces. Oh my God, literally the first card we have is partners. That is stunning. I'm picking up on Pisces and Gemini. This person's most could have a little bit of mutable in there in their energy. Um, they're really easy to get on with. Um, they have a lot of ideas as well. They are just so genuine. They're so like fantasy based. They love fantasy. They love dressing up. Like if you love cosplay, they will love dressing up with you. Even if you don't like super, super love cosplay, yes, Pisces. If you don't super, super love it, they're gonna wanna dress up with you. If you have like a Halloween party, they'll be like, do a couples thing. They'll do like, they're literally up for anything. They have a kind of Sagittarius attitude where they're literally up for anything. And there's no judgment there either. It's like, you wanna do that? Sure, let's do that. Like how refreshing is that? Especially for those of my people who have uh, attracted a lot of narcissists. It can be really difficult to kind of open that up, open up to that sort of energy, especially if you've kind of been let down a lot in love and relationships. So I do feel like the person you're gonna be with is extremely psychic. They're always um, gonna allow you to express yourself and be yourself. So when it comes to sexual stuff, they're really not gonna hold back. Um, and they love the, how sexual you are. They love your natural personality. So don't dim your light, people. Do not dim your light. Do not shrink yourself. Um, and I do feel as if you have been going through a really rough time, but this is just a massive confirmation. It's not going to be there forever. It's not going to. It's not going to end. Um, and it's it's gonna. It's, I'm hearing it's only just beginning. Like you haven't missed your partner. You haven't missed your relationship. Just because it hasn't happened now doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Okay. So with this Saturn card, I do feel like, like I said, like the first um, part of the reading, I felt like a sand timer. So I'm picking up, there's just a certain timing for these things. So we have Uranus, this person will literally magically pop up. You might meet them through a group of some kind, like an arty group. Um, you might try a new art or you might try a new hobby and that could be how they come in. But it does feel like it's just going to be really, really natural. Um, and when you first meet each other, holy shit, the sexual tension, you can literally cut with a knife. And it's lovely because you're not attracted to this person through trauma. You're literally attracted to them because you've done the work. So you're going to pinpoint their energy first. It's not even just what they look like. It's literally your energy is beautiful. I want to be around you, you know, and that's so authentic. You can tell just by that first interaction that I'm feeling that it's going to be a long term relationship. It's not going to be like, I love you because you remind me of, you know, a previous partner. and I'm not even aware of it. No, it feels like this is fucking great. This feels so comfortable, so good. Feels so good. So I feel so close to you right now. <laughs> okay, sorry, that song just literally came out of my mouth. So we have the 10th house. So it's definitely around a career. So I feel that you're going to be quite um, established in your career when you meet this person. So if you're kind of unemployed or you're in between careers, 
just letting you know that if you are working on your career right now, that your partner's probably going to come along with it, okay? Um, Leo as well, this person's really creative. I feel this person is always able to expand. So if you ever want to try any new things with your career, go for it. I just feel like as well, like this is something you've got to really look forward to because after like you've had a really long day at work, sex with this person is just so fun. Like it feels like Christmas and your birthday and everything rolled into one. Like especially my my guys and gals who are really intimate and really sexual people, like honestly, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be so, so, so stunning. Okay, so let's see if there's anything else that wants to come out. I'm just gonna pull some dice for you guys and then we're gonna finish the reading. So if you guys want to have a look into the name and the uh, uh, letters as well, and please feel free to have a look at that after we finish this reading. All right, let's pull some dice for you guys. Let's see what's going on. Oh my God, you literally, guys, of course you have the friggin' eighth house. I mean, that's literally sex and intimacy. So that is beautiful. So we have the eighth house, we have Aries, and we have the moon. So this is really nice because you guys, this person's really naturally very fiery. Um, they're naturally very open to you. They're most likely could have um, Aries moon. They may slightly, may most, <laughs> they can't speak guys. They most likely have Aries in their chart. They're really, really fiery. They're very level headed and strong headed. Like you cannot make this person budge. But what I like about this person as well is they're physically strong. They're physically and mentally strong. So if you're dealing with anything, you're not gonna be disappointed. Like if you ever wanna, if you're ever embarrassed about something, it really isn't an embarrassment because it's possibly like it's possibly from past partners that you feel that embarrassment because this person can just like, allows you to be whoever you want to be. So this person also possibly has some really deep Scorpio elements to them. Um, they're very raw, very raunchy. Like they will like um, physical and sexual intimacy and literally like the best intimacy you're going to have with this person. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And when you communicate with this person, it feels really comfortable. Um, you're able to really communicate with them and it feels absolutely gorgeous. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below along with my crystal shop where I sell these rings and I also sell these crystals here. Um, also, if you want to check out the name and initials, then that will be down below in the timestamps. Please choose group number one between one and eight. Have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the beautiful hematite very, very grounded connection. This person who you're going to be connected to is so, so deep. Like this person's really intense. So when you meet them, you're going to be like, holy crap, that is my person. Like you'll know. I do feel as if you might kind of have a little bit of a confusing energy when you first meet them. It's kind of like, I'm not sure if I want to be this person because it's kind of like possibly you're a little bit stuck with love or relationships at first. But I feel as if because this person is your future partner, you will end up with them and it'll be a long-term relationship. But it does feel as if there's a little bit of resistance there, but that's just because there might be fear or anything like that. Um, I do feel like you're probably going to have sex like the first time you meet them, like first date or literally the first interaction you have because the energy is so raw and intense. It's like, I want to have your body right now. That's exactly what you're feeling. Okay, group number two, let's have a look at your intimacy. We have a look at personality and everything like that. Let's cover everything. Okay, we have temperance, lovely. So you guys, it's really interesting because group number one was more masculine based. It was more kind of the working on the masculine side and that um, fiery element. This feels very sensitive, very delicate. So you guys can be a water sign an air sign or an earth sign. I'm not picking up on fire too much, but it doesn't mean you're not a fire sign. I feel as if you guys are really tempering uh, your nature and you're tempering who you're attracted to. So the person you're gonna be attracted to, you're really gonna make sure they're attracted to you for your mind as well as your body. Like you've had so many sexual interactions with people and it just hasn't felt authentic. I'm hearing when will be my time, when will be my next time. So this could also be the first time you feel so alive with somebody. It might be that you've had sex with people and it just hasn't felt right because maybe it was just for comfort or security and this person, because you've waited, because you've taken the time to really, I'm hearing believe in yourself and think about yourself more, this person just feels so right for you. So most likely you'll have quite long hair when you meet them or there'll be something to do with long hair. So it might be you're watching a character, you really resonate with them, they have long hair and then you meet your partner. Like it could be something as simple as that. 
I'm picking up on pixies and fairies with this group. I'm picking up on massive Aquarius. And we do have uh, Temperance does rule Aquarius. Like it just feels so subtle and beautiful. Like I feel like your partner is going to be so aesthetically pleasing. And when you do stuff intimately, it's going to feel so fun. Like it's going to be probably the most fun you've ever had with someone. Literally sexually fun, but it's just going to be so fun. Like you're going to have so much fun and you're going to laugh so much. It's going to, this person, what I'm picking up on is it feels like you know each other really, really well already. Um, I don't think you know this person. I am picking up possibly like a few of you might already know this person. But honestly, I mean, if you do, if you do know this person, you're not talking to them right now. That's just a clarification. Um, I'm picking up on the number six. I'm actually picking up on a name already. I'm picking up on the name Peter. So if any of you guys know somebody like that, or the letter P and the letter D. So um, that's for those of you who want that message there. So I'm also picking up your person is um, really likes to people to look at them and say, oh, you look good, or you have like a really beautiful energy. Like they take um, their appearance with pride. Like they feel very Aquarian, like their energy doesn't have, they don't actually have to be in Aquarius, but the energy feels very Aquarian. Like they like that validation of, yes, I look good, you know, especially if they're a man, a man, actually a man Aquarius or a man Aquarian energy, um, sorry, a man with Aquarian energy. Like they're really, really intelligent, but they like to, they like people to see them and be like, yeah, you're really intelligent. You're um, very smart. Like they have their shit together. Even when they don't have their shit together, they always seem like they do. So I feel like you're somebody who wants, an, oh, gorgeous if you're somebody who wants a aesthetically pleasing partner you're on the way there i feel like those of you who have libra in your chart you especially definitely want an, an attractive partner like that's actually a really important part and of course everyone wants an attractive partner but those of you especially with libra in your chart venus rising sun like those of you who have venus you guys really need that you really do need someone who's attractive because for you that's just a really important part of your energy i'm picking up with this emperor it feels kind of like I don't know where to put him. So I feel like you could be still dealing with somebody when you're with this person or you're kind of leaving, you're learning to leave the past behind in terms of sexual relationships. So the sex between you two is going to be, as I say, like it's probably going to be the most amazing sex you've ever had with this person. Um, it, and what I love about this is it's not just about the sex. It's like the connection is fucking unreal. Like you, like it's really hard to explain. My throat chakra really hurts because it's like I'm trying to get it out, but like I can't. It's like you can't explain how amazing it is because it just is. Like you're not forcing it, you're not worrying about it. It feels fucking safe and you absolutely love it and you feel so comfortable. So you have the emperor and the high priestess. That is them, that is you. It doesn't matter on gender, but I am picking up on male, female here, but you know, take the gender as it resonates for you because uh, everyone is completely different. Um, you've dealt with a lot of narcissists, a lot of fuck boys, a lot of fuck girls. Like they just want to fuck you over left, right and center and not in a good way. Um, you, you're very, you're a very intense person and you want that intensity with somebody else, but it keeps attracting negative fire. Like it feels like with fire, you have to control it. Otherwise it gets out of hand. I'm picking up like you're the person that people just throw their shit at, throw their fire at and you just keep, you're the one who keeps catching a light and they're not. Um, basically you keep extinguishing yourself you keep releasing people and people just keep coming back to you so no more of that that karma has basically is basically being rewritten and your person is so fucking romantic okay so your person you're not going to see them coming into your life like can you see how this person is behind the girl like he i'm hearing that that song where it's like go on baby let me whisper in your ear <laughs> i love that song it's so good um but i feel like they're basically um, this person is going to come through your dreams. They're going to come through meditation. And in terms of the intimacy, I'm hearing you're not going to know what hit you. Like this person is going to come up into your life, literally behind you. So you're not going to know when they're coming in. It's like, they're not, you're not actually meant to know when, when they're coming in, because if you did, it would ruin it. It would literally ruin the entire like plan of it and i feel like that's a really big confirmation for a lot of you guys especially those of you who really really want a connection with somebody and i know that feeling you know it's really hard to make communities at the moment especially with the crap going on and also we're literally in a society that literally feeds off of us being separate so don't be so hard on yourself it's not just you it is literal society so we have the wheel and we have um the eight of swords so those of you who have just felt so isolated recently I'm hearing you're not alone, it's gonna get better. And I also feel like 
With intimacy, your person loves your back. They love um, your back muscles. They love your back, um, like your shoulder blades. They love like tracing your back. They, you might actually have like a tattoo there. They may have a tattoo there. Um, your person feels quite Pisces and they feel like a rebel. They feel like an Aquarian or a Pisces or a Cancer Taurus or Sag. Like they feel like a rebel. They love doing things really rough, really intense. They're very private. So when it comes to sex, they're gonna be very, very private. Um, they love your boobage, um, they love your uh, vagine, <laughs> they love your vajayjay, -jay. Um, and <laughs> this is so weird, but I'm hearing pussy tunnel, that is so funny, my guys just fucking love these readings, they fucking go off, <laughs> um, so yeah, I feel like for you guys, this person just feels really, really comfortable with you, um, the knight of swords here, you have basically felt controlled through your relationships, and that might be why you've kind of not wanted to be in a relationship or you've been you've had commitment issues and it might be that you are like an overcompensator you might be I've always felt like a doormat like you have to basically change your entire self to be with someone and you're not doing that anymore so I'm hearing the basket of fruit is coming so basically everything you've wanted is going to come all in one go so in terms of this intimacy you may literally have not had sex for 10 years you may not, not have sex for six years, 20 years. It doesn't matter. Stop. I'm also hearing stop being so hard on yourself with intimacy. Give yourself that intimacy now. And I know it's not the same as being with somebody else, but wouldn't you rather be with somebody who's fucking amazing, literally fucking amazing, than somebody who's a pile of shit and treats you like poo? You know, you don't want that. You don't want that, girl. Do you want that? No. No, you don't. Okay, so I'm also picking up on Austin Powers. The fucking commercial... Is it commercial? Like, the, no, I'm picking up on the word, like, commercial, like, um like comedic it's not commercial comical sorry comical the comical energy around this fucking relationship is fucking hilarious like both of you are laughing so much and you have such a sexual humor as well so when you like when you have sex you might laugh a lot for the first time because you're being intimate when you're intimate you can laugh you can yawn like I get messages sometimes like why do I yawn when I do readings why do I laugh when I do readings it's because you're opening yourself up and part of you is being vulnerable being vulnerable is scary your body like it it literally stiffens itself when it doesn't want to be open and when it opens up it can have side effects and it, sometimes they're fucking weird like when I'm doing reading sometimes I do weird things with my hands you know it just happens so also I feel like I'm hearing you're the flower that's yet to blossom so basically you're already there the bud's already there she's just waiting to open and sometimes you can't fucking force a flower to open if you start screaming at a flower the last thing it's going to want to do is open you know so give yourself a lot of love because you're going to manifest this person whether you like it or not girl so i know you're worried about manifesting the person but do not worry it's meant to be i'm also picking up the letter s i'm seeing this like the letter s with this person sex <laughs> basically the letter sex letter sex oh my god mercury retrograde is a pain in the ass <laughs> the letter s to do with sex okay so there's something here that they're showing me what is that this person's really driven by money as well they're not like um what's the word they're not uh i literally can't think of the word materialistic thank you they're not materialistic but they wear like a pendant around their neck a lot can you see there's something about this necklace here i don't know what it is but they're really saying like look at that i don't know what it is but they might have ah they might have like a locket around their neck or um, like, a, a t um, like, a, like a pocket watch around their neck. They wear like a pendant. It might be Shungai or something. So basically, you could have some really intense dreams. Before you meet this person, you've had a, possibly some sex dreams that haven't been so fun. They could be really intense, especially if you're somebody who, who, who like processes things through sexual imagery. Um, for those of you just going to put a disclaimer, I'm just about to talk about some really deep stuff to do with sex. It's not so fun, so I'm just going to put that out there before I start talking about it. There may be a bit of sexual trauma that you've also been dealing with as well. So if that is something that has been really hurting you, that's going to be a massive clearing for you. And just to, I'm just going to put all my love out there to you if you have dealt with that. And your sacral chakra is definitely going to be something that needs to be worked on, okay? Um, that's going to bring you towards your partner. I'm hearing don't be scared of the intimacy, okay? You'll know when you feel safe because you're not going to feel anxious. Okay, so trust yourself. You'll learn to trust yourself too, um, especially if you've been with some really, really intense people. Okay, so those of you who are interested in this one, by the way, if you want to know, I'm going to be and will be selling these on my shop. So um, they're pink amethyst and they're absolutely beautiful. So I thought I would pick one for myself because I just couldn't resist, so absolutely beautiful so they'll be on my shop very soon most likely they're already on there by the time you watch this video 
So ninth house journeys, let's have a look at this person and see who they are. Uh, like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you guys want to know their name, look at the timestamps down below and choose a number. Let's pick up on Finding Nemo and pick up a lot of fish. It's this person. So this person is definitely foreign. They are from a different country and they're literally foreign. Like they, um, they do speak the, your language, but they don't look like you. They look like a completely different culture, completely different background. Basically, yeah, completely different. So most likely they're tall, dark and handsome. Um, obviously if they're a woman, same thing, but obviously not the word handsome. It'll be something like tall, dark and pretty. <laughs> um, and this person has, if they're a woman, long black hair. If they're a man, thick black hair. Could have long hair too. Um, a lot of Capricorns I've met have long hair. So especially men, the men seem to have long hair. Have you guys experienced that? A lot of men who I know who are Capricorns or have Capricorn placements like having long hair. Um, so this person is resisting going into like a sort of spiritual job, but they, they most likely will be in it. Also, you might meet them through having a spiritual career and I'm picking up my heart chakra opening as I said that. So it's gonna be really unexpected. Like you're gonna be possibly scrolling through social media. If you guys work online, especially through like YouTube, Google, um, Instagram, you most likely meet them through that. So whatever platform you're on, you're gonna meet them through there. Whatever platform you're on a lot, you might meet them through that. It just feels like um, if it's not gonna be a physical meeting, it's most likely gonna be through the internet. It could, you could meet them through family as well, but it's gonna be through a family member who you really trust and really love. So you have Jupiter and then we have Saturn. So basically this person could be going for their Saturn return. Um, that could be when they're around 30-ish, 40, 50 and 80. So that's roughly when people have their Saturn return. So um, your person could be any around any of those ages, depending on how old you are. Uh, but I do feel like this person is so fucking masculine. Like they're very, very sexy. If they are, if you're wanting a female or a feminine, they're gonna be fucking feminine. Like they're gonna be so in that energy that they're naturally born to be. So biologically um, or whoever they wanna be, that's where they're going towards. So I just feel like for those of you who are wanting um, a masculine or a male, like you're just, I feel like you're so fed up with meeting people who are just very, very immature. Um, I think you're just, you're just gonna be so happy when you meet this person because you'll know. And they have quite strong facial hair too. Like you're gonna be like, damn, their facial hair is fucking hot. Like you're just gonna love it. You're gonna absolutely fucking love it. Okay, so I'm hearing sandstone. The word sandstone, so that, I think that is a crystal, I'm pretty sure. Um, sometimes when I'm, in, when I'm channeling, I can't actually pick up on like factual information, so. Um, so I feel this person picking up on um, Aladdin. They could look a bit like Aladdin or Jasmine, or they could look a lot like Jasmine actually, if you're wanting a feminine or a female. Okay, so we have February, October, May. I'm also picking on, up on the song Mr. Postman, which is so funny where it's like, Mr. Postman, bring me a drink. <laughs> um, I was picking up on Ghostbusters. I'm picking up on like a lot of like um, nerdy stuff, um, stuff that's quite fun, quite funny, things like that. Okay, so those could be possibly months that you could meet this person. Alrighty, so let's get a little bit more extra information about this connection. Let's see what's going on. I'm hearing let's get it on. <laughs> that is so funny, I love that. Okay, so we have Aquarius, Mercury, first house. So this person, oh my God, they are very, very smart. Um, they're um connection sorry their connection their career and your connection is going to be very verbal so there's going to be a lot of talking um you're really going to meet through communication so i do feel like it's online um, mercury is all about that online energy especially aquarius is especially to do with online and um, the internet and things like that it's to do with like friends things like that so you could meet them through a friend too there's something here, what is that? They could be a public speaker as well. There's something there, they, they do something like they're a humanitarian, um, like they love doing things with society, with groups. They might run a group, they're thinking of running a group, something like that. They also love um, like charities and things like that. They really like to help the environment. They're very environmentally friendly. <laughs> Picking up, they might have like eco condoms or something, which I probably wouldn't even recommend. I don't know how good they are, but <laughs> it's just really funny. Oh, you're gonna have a lot of outdoor sex as well. That's, yeah in a tent, stuff like that. They're basically up for anything, like, honestly. Um, and I feel like they really help you to um, aspire to your dreams. Like they, they really help you to, like, kind of go after your dreams. 
and they're just really open and lovely and I just really love this person. Also I'm hearing about the 12th house and I'm hearing what's hidden because the 12th house rules about what's hidden. So there's something about this person that you're gonna unlock in them and you're like, they say to you like, oh my God, I, I never have told anyone this like straight away. Like you, they feel so comfortable with you and ready to be open. And that's the sort of relationship you want because if you know, if you can't be intimate and comfortable with your partner, then who the hell can you be intimate and comfortable with, you know? Um, I'm also picking up on, you know, sex aside, I do feel like you're really healing a lot of family issues and this person's also healing a lot of family issues. Um, yeah, you could meet through that as well. It might be a topic that comes up when you start talking. This person also has a really nice car. Um, they love driving you around. They love doing things to do with travel and things like that. So have a lovely day, guys. Uh, my rates are down below along with my crystal shop where I sell these rings and these crystals. Have a lovely, lovely day and I'll speak to you very, very soon. Bye. Hello, good number three. Let's get started with your reading, guys. Oh my God, I'm picking up on a really lovely energy. Oh, heart chakra stuff. So we have the Pyrite Cluster. I love these Pyrite Clusters. They are on my shop. They are very, very high quality. They are so good for your solar plexus. Like they're really good at making you um, feel more comf comfortable, comfortable and confident in yourself. And they allow you to... Um, Help, well, they help you to attract money a little bit easier as well. Um, they give you a really good sense of self. So what I'm picking up on is this relationship is going to be really good for your sense of self-worth. Like you're basically, for a lot of you guys, you felt like you've been missing something a lot of your life. And a lot of it has been to do with the relationship. And I'm not saying a relationship fills that hole, which <laughs> in a sexual 18 plus reading, it will literally fill a hole, which <laughs> yes, queen. Um, <laughs> but basically, and I can say that because an 18 plus reading, I'm like, ooh, <laughs> um, my guides get really excited when I do an 18 plus reading. I've got some very intimate guides up in there. Um, but basically, um, I literally forgot what I was going to say. Mercury retrograde is such a pain in the ass. Um, yeah, basically very self-validating. Like this person, this create, this I'm hearing this creation that you and this person have created is so validating. And what I love also is when you come into this relationship, you're not going to suddenly forget about all the friends that you have. You're not going to suddenly forget about your life that you have. It's like, you know, when you get really encaptured in a relationship. It's so like romanticized. It's like, oh my God, they're in their own world. And sometimes that can be actually really toxic because sometimes you can literally forget about your life, which is really bad sometimes. I mean, not saying that's, that's always a bad thing, but in this relationship, you're very present. You're really, really present in your body because you want to be present. You're not escaping. You're not using this relationship to escape stuff. And I feel like I'm going to be super honest in this read. And I feel like I'm going to be super blunt. So if you're not into a deep reading, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pick this group. <laughs> okay, so gorgeous. There we go. So the strength in the reverse. So you guys get a really interesting card of you've fucking gone for it, girl. Girl, honestly, you are doing a fucking amazing job. Why are you being so hard on yourself? <laughs> um, so for those of you, oh, this is really bad. This, she's like strangling like a warthog, but basically I'm here just hearing you like me, okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my vegans, but you love your meat, okay? I'm just picking up you love the meat. Um, so if you love meat, that's just confirmation. You're doing a good job with your diet, okay? <laughs> something I'm picking up on. All right, so you guys come here for the random messages. You get the random messages, all right? So literally meat, like, you know, penis. You love that too. Okay. <laughs> so I feel as if I'm picking up on just really bluntly, um, you're going to have to, you're going to basically chuck out your sex toys. Like you're no longer going to need them. And it's not because you're in a relationship. Oh my God, like, you know, I'm going to replace it with my sex toys or the other way around. I'm going to replace my sex toys with this person. It's like, it's not about like replacing anything. It just feels as if you're in a really comfortable connection with somebody that there's no need to kind of use anything that feels not good for you anymore. I think you might be coming away from using your toys anyway, because I feel like you're going to be kind of coming into a more spiritual, sexual side of yourself. I think what's lovely as well is you're, you've healed yourself so much. Um, you might not feel the need to kind of masturbate 24 seven as well, especially if you have high sex drive, that's a really good thing. Um, especially if you've done a lot of healing on yourself. Okay. This is so interesting. There's such tea in this. So it might be a secret relationship, first of all. So if you're somebody who's quite private, this will be quite a secret relationship, first of all, because basically you're feeling out the situation. Your family, uh, who you most likely are around a lot of the time, some of your family members are fucking cheeky. <laughs> so what I'm, gonna, what I'm feeling is you have family that are very, very nosy, okay? And if, you, if they know you're in a relationship, they will be all over it like a ton of bricks. Honestly, guys, you're, that's probably why you're keeping it a secret because like, even if your family have your best interest at heart, 
honestly they are so nosy <laughs> they are so fucking nosy like i said this is a very blunt reading okay um i just feel as if um you're going to keep it very private and i feel as if the number seven and the number three is really prominent in this reading so just keep that in mind really spiritual connection i'm hearing you guys have gone through such a hardship okay um yeah death i mean let's just get a couple of cards after death because i feel like it's kind of the leading up to it so the relationship you have um oh oh my god i literally just saw it's like a face in there guys there's so much drama in these cards this time around okay so you have had a lot of drama in your love life especially in your sex life too maybe you've had people who've come in gone out come in gone out literally out of your life in your life out of your life in like five seconds so basically the universe has been protecting you um, up until now and it's basically saying go for it girl so right now you've gone through a lot of shadow work and the intimacy you're going to have with this person is fucking beautiful okay so let's just get a little bit of information about the intimacy a little bit more because i feel this is kind of leading up to the connection first of all you're going to basically yeah it's going to be quite private um it doesn't feel like you're hiding the relationship because you're because you don't want anyone to know about it it is kind of, but it's more about the fact that you want it just for you. Like it's not about anyone else. It's not about sharing it. It's about just letting you both connect with each other. And basically you might be a little bit scared to be this person first of all, because you might kind of get this energy of like, I don't want to even want a relationship. Um, but it feels as if this person is going to really nurture you and they're going to be very kind to you in terms of like um, patient. They're going to be really patient. I was going to say the word quiet actually. Um, <clears throat> they're quite a soft-spoken person they love um dirty talk they love it they're very like they're very strong communicator i'm hearing this like they're very potent with things they say like they're very um what's the word like they like to think about things before they say it so this person is very serious um they do need to kind of warm up to you and you need to warm up to them a little bit not to say this person isn't the right person what i'm feeling is it's such a deep relationship that it's going to take you both both of you like quite a while to get to know each other um but the intimacy is going to be so fucking gorgeous it's going to be like literally out of this world it's going to be very very 5d okay um and what i mean by that is you're going to really experience a lot of spiritual aspects to it um you're going to really maybe even do astral travel i don't know idea but <clears throat> i feel like both of you have been really attracting each other like manifesting each other um you're both feeling really comfortable with each other there's a sense of like i don't have to try with you i just feel super comfortable so it's really interesting because i actually feel like this group is very very sexual but there's not a lot of sexual messages that are coming through so let me just kind of feel into it and see what i'm picking up on music is going to be a real big aspect to this relationship very romantic kind of Romeo and Juliet without all the really awful stuff that goes along with it I'm picking up on this like really romantic energy and what I'm picking up on is I'm hearing I found I finally found you um I don't know if that's a song but I'm hearing I finally found you this person has gone through a lot of crap both of you have gone through quite narcissistic connections with people and there's a lot of lying that you've gone through a lot of like cheating lying things like that um couldn't doesn't have to be physical cheating but I feel like people have tried to cheat their way into your life um but basically a lot of people have also been quite turned off by your energy because there's nothing wrong with you it's just that you haven't met the right person or people because basically you're very intense you're very kind your energy is very intense very raw and people have been possibly scared by that but oh my god it's so handy in this connection because you're both very intense very sexual um and you both just love each other exactly as you're meant to be pick up on sand something about sand this person might live near the beach I'm picking up on Cornwall actually. Um, I'm picking up on Margate. I'm picking up a lot of like places in England. Um, I mean, in places like I'm picking up on like America, like um, I'm here in Las Vegas Strip actually, um, and that famous beach in LA, which I can't, I don't know the name of right now. Um, but picking up on the beach, this person loves the beach. They live near the beach. You could have beach sex, sex on the beach. <laughs> um, but this person, some of you guys might meet them through TikTok, which I don't know if you can do that, but. I mean, I'm not even on TikTok, so, uh, well, I am, but I don't actually ever go on it ever. Um, <laughs> but you can meet them through that. But like, some of you guys, it's literally going to be a mystery how you meet them. And we do have this kind of star right in the corner here. So however you're going to meet, it's going to be really natural. Um, so I'm sorry I'm not getting too many sexual messages, guys. But if you want a more sexual intimate reading, I have got other groups as well if you want to choose those. But I just feel as if this person's like so wanting to know you. It's like there's definitely like a fear there. But I feel as if the, okay, you love this person's arms, they love your boobs, 
and it's like you're no longer entertaining yourself like maybe when you've had relationships with people they've been really fucking selfish like especially intimately i'm hearing it's all about me it's all about me it's all about me your person it's not it's not about it's not about them all the time it's very very balanced that yeah that's the message i need to get it's very very balanced and both of you have experienced a really similar life um yeah really really intense so that's kind of what i'm getting guys um also the lips as well you both love each other's lips so there might be some sexual messages that want to come out a little bit later on but for now that's kind of what i'm getting but this is this card is really popping out to me like um it feels like an old romantic energy like an old romantic film is what i'm picking up on from this group so let's get you some months of the year let's see what months of the year want to come out for you guys some of you guys i'm um, picking up on neighbors like the tv show neighbors I'm also just hearing like neighbours. So this person you could know as a neighbour. It could be around the home area. Um, you can meet them through, if you have children, you can meet them through your kids as well. So we have November and October, your months of the year, and then we have January. So a lot to do with kind of like the end to right at the start of the next year after that. Um, so something around the colder months, depending on what hemisphere you're in. Okay, so let's get you some star signs. Let's have a look at this person in a little bit more detail. Oh my god that's what came out for number one as well so you guys might want to choose number one if you're drawn to it picking up on a letter j for this group um this person could easily be a sag could be a fire sign or a water sign or an air sign so basically nearly all the signs um this person's very money dedicated they, they they're really good at uh, getting money like they're very good at creating money and they're really dedicated to you they are literally like the ultimate father figure to your children if you want to have kids with them um, or mother figure depending on who you're attracted to but if they are a father figure I really feel like they are the breadwinner like just to be genuine like they are the breadwinner they are somebody who will bring in a lot of money not the main person to bring in the money but they're very good at bringing in the money like they will always um, be very successful at that they're very intelligent they always use their words they love going out and having fun um, they will never it will never not be a fun connection with this person I'm hearing, I just feel so fucking free. I feel so free. Um, pick up on Greece, uh, the musical Greece. Pick up on Back to the Future as well. So we have Earth, we have Aries as well. Let's get one more card. Oh, pick, pick up on Neighbours. Yeah, we have Taurus here. So the main um, star signs we have here is Taurus, Aries, uh, Sagittarius and Gemini. And then we also have the Ninth House. This person loves travel. They're really interested in languages and like higher elements they love knowing about the world and what's kind of going on behind the scenes things like that they're very interested in all that stuff let's get any more extra messages well that dropped okay so we have the 10th house we have gemini and we have saturn so i'm hearing whoever this person is they are so meant to be in your life like you will never miss this person you might actually meet them walking a dog or you're, they're walking their dog, or you might just be walking and they're literally just walking their dog. But whoever they are, they're really wholehearted. Um, you're most likely going to meet them online, especially if you have an online career, especially if you do your work online. Um, they are going to go through their Saturn return before they meet you, most likely. Um, or they could just be going for a really intense time right now. They could be going for a really strong like career change. Um, and I just feel like this person and you are very connected through your careers. Um, you might actually meet as a, co as a co-worker, or most, for a small percentage of your co-worker, but for a lot of you guys, it's through networking. So um, like collaborating, you might them through a collaboration. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like to know names and initials, please look up the other timestamps. Crystal Shop and rates are down below. Please um, message me before purchasing as my rates and availability can change. Crystal Shop is down below where you can get these rings and these crystals. Have a lovely, lovely day. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, good number four. Let's get started with your reading, my lovely. So you guys got the beautiful selenite. So I feel like this group is going to be very different to all the other groups. I feel like the other group has been really intense. This group feels very innocent, very light. A lot of you guys, this might be the first person you're going to be intimate with. It feels very sensitive. It feels like, please don't hurt my heart. You know, I feel like a lot of you guys have gone through a really intense time, some really intense people. And I'm just picking up his massive clearing. Um, a lot of you guys, if this is the first person you've been, you're going to be intimate with, it's going to be really beautiful. It's going to be so fun. And for a lot of you guys, you're going to basically figure out how penises work, which I fucking love that. So also, depending on what 
or a fish you want to go for might be the JJ's too. So, you know, just allow yourself to have fun and don't put too much pressure on it. Okay, group number four, let's have a look. Ooh, hi. Yes, that is exactly what I was feeling. It's kind of like this energy of like seeking it out and kind of figuring it out as you go. So, crows and blackbirds and um, rabbits are going to be a really big omen for you guys to look out for with this connection. Um, maybe you might even see, okay, it sounds weird, but you might even see like animals having sex as you're walking along the road or something. You might see like uh, very intimate images that might look like weird images, like you might see a puddle that looks like something dodgy, you know, something like that. It's very subtle things that I feel like you might look at, you might think, oh my God, wow. And then, you know, you look back at it and you're like, oh, there's nothing there, you know? So there's definitely going to be this weird kind of like secretive, but fun, kind of like humorous thing that the universe is going to kind of play with you, I feel. So I'm just picking up on don't take it too seriously. The relationship you're gonna have with this person is extremely romantic, okay? Um, you're gonna feel really, really strongly connected to this person. You're gonna feel so comfortable and it's gonna feel just super, super easy. Okay, let's get some cards. So for you guys, you're gonna be doing a lot of whipping, a lot of chains, a lot of um, just really intense kind of like um this is exactly what we're going to be doing so butt plugs i'm picking up on uh penis rings literally all the things uh mesh a lot of things being ripped um a lot of like tights being ripped open um a lot of dresses being ripped i'm hearing don't rip my dress <laughs> i'm picking up on shirts being opened i'm picking up on like um picnics and sex in front of the fire sex in front out sex outdoors um sex in like an airbnb hotel things like that um, this person's very old fashioned. They possibly, if they're a man, have a beard or like a lot of stubble. If they're a female, um, ginger hair, long hair or curly hair, like really curly, like a coils or ringlets or just like very tight curls um, or long ginger hair or long like light hair, light coloured hair. So I just take it as it resonates, guys. I feel like um, for a lot of you guys, I'm just picking up on you are the feminine in the connection and then the masculine. So obviously take it as it resonates, but I feel as if this person is your fire. Like they give you a lot of passion. They allow you to feel like yourself. They feel very Leo. They feel very fiery. They feel like you're meant to be this person. Okay, so the main thing I'm feeling is you're going to feel very safe with them. So if you ever feel anxious around someone, they're not the right person. Okay, I'm just going to put that out there very bluntly. This card is one of my favorites. If you've seen any of my 18 plus readings and this card has come up, you know, this is one of my favorite cards and not because of the little, little booty, but um, because these people are tied and it reminds me of just a connection that's meant to happen that always has like an invisible string, but it just feels so like, um, I don't know how to explain it. It feels so right. Like it's so easy and it's just meant to be like, it's literally just meant to be. And not annoyingly when everyone says about divine timing, not that kind of energy. It just feels like so easy. And there's going to be a lot of synchronicities in this relationship. A lot of like smells you're going to recognize and pick up on sage, like burning, pick up on like a lot of um, like senses. So like the smells, the sounds and pick up a lot of songs. Ed Sheeran, I'm picking up on Ed Sheeran. Um, I'm picking up like a, a very romantic energy to this this group and a lot of you guys um the connection just feels really authentic both of you are meant to be with each other and i'm hearing your heads together a lot so you might actually literally have telepathic uh situation i'm picking up this person might keep you awake at night literally like having sex but what i was picking up on is um they're sending you like 5d messages and that's going to happen like a lot when you first meet them I'm picking up on you literally cannot keep your hands off each other. Like you literally cannot be apart. Like it's not a codependent relationship because it doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel like an emergency kind of connection. It feels like I so love your energy. Like it just feels so right. And the way you're going to be is, okay, so basically it's going to be so divinely time. Like you're going to be in a really good position financially, emotionally. And even if you haven't got a career like or a job or you know exactly where you're going in life, like you're gonna allow enough time personally to have this person in your life. Like it's not like you have tons of responsibilities and tons of drama and things like that. Like if you do right now, it's probably gonna become clearer in your life or things are gonna get more sorted. I'm hearing you're no longer the person responsible. I'm picking up, you have always been responsible for everyone else. It's your turn now. This is your connection that you have been waiting for for your literally your entire life. And I'm not being dramatic because it feels fucking sexy as fuck. Like it feels so good and 
The color green is gonna be a really big um, emphasis on this connection, like it feels very heart chakra, very emerald, very like um, classy, very posh, very classy, that sort of relationship. Uh, a lot of things are gonna be exposed in the connection. You're gonna be naked pretty much like 99.9% .9 of the time. Um, it's gonna be very hot, very sexy, um, both of you. Okay, so a lot of you guys have insecurities in sex. It could be your body, it could be your person didn't like sweat or something like that, really weird, stupid crap that, is rubbish because everyone sweats but basically it could be your person who you were with before or any kind of connection you have was crap because basically it wasn't what it was it wasn't what it seemed as if it was like so basically you your person previous people you've been with could have could, could have created a lot of insecurities with you or you could have like a fear of being intimate you could have a fear of sex you could have a fear of yeah, intimacy, you might have had people, you might have had people you know tell you like, oh, sex is, you know, scary or whatever, especially if it's your first time. But I'm hearing you absolutely you have nothing to fear. Like if you can ask the universe, especially to just help you with this connection, it's gonna be amazing. It's very 50 shades of gray. Like I'm picking up on um, this, there's a scene, I have actually watched 50 shades of gray. I'm not afraid to admit that. It's a bit of a weird film, but it's, you know, it's, it's just, it's a film. Uh, but basically I think, I don't know if this is something I dreamt <laughs> or if this is actually a part of the film, but basically like there's like a mesh wall and it's metal and basically it's really easy to clamp something to it because it's got lots of holes in the wall. And basically I'm seeing like uh, the woman being tied with like her wrists and she's like got her, her arms like spread outwards and I'm seeing just this energy of like complete control and it's so fun, like it's so like... Um, it's your thing, it's no one else's. It just feels so lovely. I really love it. I'm hearing just you wait, like get ready guys. This is why I love doing 18 plus readings. Honestly guys, it's so they're so fun for me. I just feel so free in these readings. So give me, a, 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 I don't like asking this, but it's just coming through my intuition. Give me a little like or a comment if you really enjoy these readings. Cause I just, I love hearing your responses guys. Honestly, it makes my day, it makes my whole month. Um, ironically, month. So we have March. So I feel like this relationship is very unlike what you've had before. Um, what I'm feeling is, I'm hearing you don't know who you want yet. So it might be you're like, oh, I kind of want that person, but I'm kind of attracted to this type of person. Basically, you're gonna know when you meet them, okay? You don't have to know everything right now. So October, August, and September. So August, September, October, the months of the year that are possibly gonna be quite important. Harry Potter is a big significance in this connection some way. Um, could be there, could be an opening around Harry Potter or a Harry Potter event or something and around where you, when you have the connection. It kind of reminds me of the wolves and the full moon um, in the Prisoner of Azkaban film. Okay, so I'm picking up on hematite. Um, something around hematite. It feels mysterious, dark and mysterious. Oh, nice. Oh my God, literally, that's literally what I was picking up on. Oh my God, how exciting. Literally, that's exactly what I was picking up on. Dark and mysterious is literally the 12th house. So it can be about fears. Um, it can be about things that are very hidden. But what I'm feeling is you guys have really um, unraveled a lot of things that have been hidden from your life and you're and they're, and they're coming up to be shown. And you're doing this because you don't want to live in the shadows anymore. You don't want to live from your shadow self, which your shadow self is basically your unconscious self that um, that is running your life. Like I'm pretty sure, like some somebody said, like you're we run literally like 95% um, off our unconscious mind, which is kind of terrifying, really, because it's like, whoa, that's crazy. So if we can really heal our shadow self, your life can flip in like half an hour, especially if you've done some shadow work. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Don't know why half an hour. It's very specific, but. Um, but yeah, it's very beautiful. So the relationship you're going to have with this person is going to be really open, lots of travel, um, lots of changes physically that you're going to have. So you might suddenly have a diet change. You might suddenly have um, an emotional change. There are some big fucking changes. We have the full moon. We've got a lunar eclipse. We've got the first house of the self. We've got so much fire. I'm hearing, guys, you're not going to be able to avoid this. There's so much fire. We've got the fifth house of Leo. We've got all the fire signs. We've got the first house of Aries. Guys, this is a fucking raging fire. Like this is literally, you can't avoid this. It's kind of like um, a forest fire. It kind of like spreads. That's basically what the energy is. It's like, you can't avoid it, but it's fucking beautiful. Like guys, this is just so meant for you. It's honestly amazing. Also a forest fire. I'm not seeing that's a bad thing by the way, but it just feels amazing. Yeah, Uranus, like literally so, um, I'm hearing so unaware. So you're unaware that this person's coming in. You could meet them around a pub as well, like a restaurant. Depending on what sort of things you have around your area, um, it feels like a gathering of some, a place of gathering. That's what I'm hearing, a place of community, 
pub or a restaurant or something like that. I'm hearing it could be a friend's birthday you meet them as well, okay? Um, we have Libra. Your person could be a Libra. Your friend who you meet them through could be a Libra as well. So we're going to pull you some dice as well. Some of you guys could also start up a shop or start up a um, like a startup, literally like a business. Oh, I'm getting something really, really hot. Oh my god. Oh my god. You can meet them through a wedding as well. Um, it's definitely through a gathering of, of a lot of people. Okay, so we have Scorpio, we have the second house and we have Neptune. So, very spiritual connection. Um, you basically are meeting very naturally. So the universe is so divinely timed in this connection. You've asked for this person like two or three years ago, I'm picking up. Um, and I feel as if when your family life is sorted, when you've sorted out the home life and your subconscious or parts of your subconscious that need to be sorted through uh, possibly fears or trusting, things like that, opening up, it's gonna open up so quickly. Um, not, not like that, but it's gonna open up really quickly. Some of you guys, this person could be a waiter or someone who works in a cafe or a pub um, and that's how you meet them. But it feels really authentic. Like this isn't somebody who you meet because they're attractive. You meet them because your energy just cross and it's like even it's kind of like the universe pushes you both together like I'm seeing like hands and they're pushing like you're you're here he's here and they're like pushing you together because the what the universe is doing is it's like sometimes this happens though like I've witnessed this before I don't know if any of you guys have witnessed this where sometimes you're in a connection with someone and you black out almost and something happens and you've all something in the relationship has changed but you were totally unaware of how it happened that's basically how you meet this person. It's like you maybe you suddenly get the courage to go up and talk to them or they randomly talk to you and you wake up the next morning. You're like, oh, my God, did that actually happen? You know, um, pick up on 10th house energy as well around being um, connected to somebody who's a father figure. So especially if you're wanting a male, they're going to be such a good father to your your children. And the Scorpio energy is massive, massive transformation, very sexual and very, very beautiful and very, very intimate. So. Have a lovely day. Also, the last thing I'm picking up on is it could be a real estate agent or a state agent or they could work in a bank or work with money. So have a lovely day. Um, the private reading rates are down below. Please message me before getting a reading. I do offer 18 plus readings as well. I offer a future love 18 plus and you can add 18 plus to any other uh, readings I have as well. Uh, just please ask me beforehand. Uh, my crystal shop is down below where these crystals are available. Um, also, uh, my rings are available too. Have a lovely day. Um, names and initials are also down below in the timestamps. So have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number one. Let's have a look at your initials and names. So let's get some letters and pick up on the letter G and H. So kind of like at the start of the alphabet. Okay, so we have E, F and M. H. And E. So we have two E's. E. <laughs> um, we have M. We have like Femme. So it could be feminine as well. So we have two E's, an F, an M and a H. So let's see what else we get. So let's have a look and see what names we get. So let's have a little zoom in. So we have the name uh, Harry. I'm picking up on the name Harriet. Hayley, Hannah, um, let's see what else, let's pull you out a little bit more, oops, didn't mean to do that, okay, um, we have the name Mason, I'm hearing Mariette, Mally, Ma, or Ma, I'm picking up on some accents as well, you know, the E with the accent, like a lot of French kind of um, names. Um, <clears throat> I'm picking up on French names, so I'm just going to write that down. Pick up on French and Italian names as well. Uh, I'm picking up on Eastern, so Eastern European as well. Um, excuse my words if I write any of these words wrong, I do apologise. Um, I'm picking up on um don't know what this is that i'm writing mariette we had that mariette yeah okay could be spelled slightly different uh him i'm hearing him and her um i'm hearing e-a-r-l so earl eel elaine 
I think an Eli, but I'm not sure how to spell it. Um, Ella. And what else am I getting? I'm hearing the word fame as well, or um, I'm hearing the word femme. Um, I'm hearing F-E and there's like a dash and then something else. So I'll put, just put F-E. Uh, fern? Is that Fern? Fern. F-E-A. Uh, pick up on letters like A, F and G. And J as well, actually. Um, there's a couple of other ones as well. Pick up on like John, Jason and Juliet. We had Mariam, Mariam as well. Okay, so that is your love reading, guys. Uh, have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's have a look at the letters you guys got. So let's see, group number two. Pick up a lot of S. Oh, we have S, good. S and I. Okay. So I'm actually hearing the word sin. So <laughs> take that as you will. Um, we have R, N, P, F, H, S and Z. So I am picking up on the name Sean, S, E, A, N. Sarah. Samantha. Sally. Serene, Serene, um, uh, I'm hearing Saritha, um, I'm hearing Saz and Sa, maybe Sara uh, as well, I'm hearing Franny, Fran, Felicity, Felicia, um, Ron, Ronald, Phyllis, Philip, Philippa, um, I'm hearing Zelda, so that's an interesting one, Nintendo, love that, um, I'm hearing Zeld, Zeal, um, Zai, Z and an I, um, Zach, and Zaf as well, or, Z or Faz, F-A-Z. Um, and that's all I'm getting. So have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello group three. Let's have a look at your names. Let's see um, what letters you guys get. Pick up on the letter C and letter D. So let's see what we get. I'm hearing it's a very, um, it's a name you wouldn't expect I'm picking up on. So it might not be a name that you've come across before or it might be just, you might not even know anyone by this name or, you know, something like that. Okay, so these are the letters we have. We have two N's as well. Okay. The first one here is Gautier, which is a, um, a singer. I don't know how to spell his name. Is it like that? I don't know. Um, we have George. Um, Gran, Grain, Granis. Um, I'm hearing Greek as well, or Greece. Um, I have George, I'm hearing Jordan, but it's spelled with a G, like Jordan, like that. G and J and D. Um, Evelyn, Evie, Eli, Ellie, and Ava. Um, here in Oz, Ozzy, Orlando, um, <laughs> here in Orgy. I'm just gonna say that because it's an 18 plus reading. <laughs> um, Ord, Ordy, Ord, Order, um, North, Northa, um, ne it's spelt never, but it's not actually said never in the British. English uh, language. Uh, I, Vel, uh, Vale, Velo, Vicky, hi. <laughs> Let's put Victoria just for the banter because that's my name. <laughs> um, and Niall. 
yeah so that's what i'm getting thank you so much have a lovely day and i'll speak to you soon bye hello grand before let's have a look and see what letters want to come to you pick up on an octopus that is so random is that a letter o is going to come out whoa i did not know there was that many eyes in there okay got a lot of letters in this group oh i like that one too letter r definitely okay so we have i like four times i didn't even know there was that many eyes in there g n y um k s e q m n e okay so we have caitlin Caitlin, Catherine, spelt with a C and a K, um, Ava, Sarah and Sarah, Mary, Madeline, um, Nisa, I'm hearing Nifa, I'm, I have no idea guys, I'm sorry if this is like bad words in other people's language, um, I'm hearing Saad, Raj, uh, Jake, Jonathan, um, Isle, and I'm here at I E L, uh, Kika, Kiki, K, um, Neil, Niall, Neela. Um, Kate, Cassandra, I'm also hearing Heather as well, and Salandra, have I got Sal? Sal and Suki. So we also have Q as well, so take in mind any of the letters there as well. Uh, I'm also hearing, I'm, not, I'm hearing the letter, word Queen as well, and Q... U, I, okay, that's what, that's what I'm getting. So have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, good number five. Let's get your um, letters. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Let's see uh, what comes up. If I don't pick a name with a letter, just take it as it resonates and pick your own uh, as well. Let's get a couple more. Okay, so I'm hearing this person may have a name similar to a famous person. Because I'm picking up on a lot of famous people that come into my mind. So just um, take it as it resonates. Okay, so we have, hearing the word simple as well, this person feels simple, they feel calm. Um, so I'm picking up on Caitlin. I pick up a lot of Sarah's and Caitlin's today. Um... Neil, Catherine, Julia, Peter, Petra, uh, Philippa, Philip, um, Chloe, Courtney, I don't know where this is going, Kim, <laughs> um, Sam, Sal, I'm um, hearing the word sin, but it's felt like that. Uh, Jim, Jiminy, Jimmy, um, hearing Zin, Zintha, Z-I, S-I-J-I, and that's what I'm getting. Have a lovely day, and I'll speak to you soon. Hello, good number six. Let's have a look at your names. Let's see what's coming up for you guys. Okay. So we have S N M I Q O V. So the first one I'm picking up on is Ellie and um, Elothia. E e Hello. Uh, Elo, Chloe, picking up on as well. Vita, 
Victor yeah, yellow as well. Um, why I put up on Nina, Nini, Nina, uh, Yay, Otha, Ola, Olaf. Um, uh, what else? Heather. We have Nina. We have Nina. Nino. Uh, Nadine. Nymphia. Uh, Melo. Milo. Milo. Spelt the same. Um, and pick up on Mary as well. And Cherry. And that's it. Have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hi, group number seven. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what letters want to come out for you guys. Let's see. Okay, so we have SVI. I think this person might have a complicated name, so I'll do my best with what I have here. Pick up on the word Christmas as well. How I actually have the word Christ without the, the T. <laughs> um, okay, so we have M, I, we have two I's. A lot of I's in these groups. A lot of S's I'm hearing as well. Um, okay, so those are the letters. So I'm picking up on uh, Nina. Nina and Nina. Um, let's see. Niv. Nikki. Nikita. Connor, uh, Corner, uh, Corva, Catherine, Ron, Rona, Rose. We're getting a lot of like um, flower names like Lily, Rose, um, who in Samantha, Jane. Janet, here in Isle, Eva, Siv, Om, Noni, Terry, spelt two ways, Thomas, uh, Vicky, Victor, Valley, Valerie, and Holly, another one, uh, Harriet, Hector. Those are the names, have a lovely day and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number eight. Let me write down your number, number eight. Let's have a look and see what letters wanna come out for you guys, let's see. Pick up on the letter A, you guys, and T. Pick up on Narnia, that's random. Okay, so we have T E Q G C I S and W. So we have Quinta. Um, we have Cat, which is spelled Q U A Q U A T. I'm hearing Cat as well. Kate, spelled two ways. Willis. Wilson, Whale, um, Wallace, Cynthia, spelt two ways, Ella, Eloise, um, I don't know what that was, uh, Tammy, Timothy, Sally, Oh yeah, Cynthia again. I'm going to write it down again. Um, Timothy, Tim, and here Tol Tolson, um, Ellie, and I think that's it. Pretty sure that's it. Hearing Gareth. Um, 
Ginny and Gertrude as well. Those are all the names. Have a lovely, lovely day and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.